one of Balangir's major irrigation projects. A 1,410 meter long dam with a 255 meter long spillway on the river Sukte. A pressurized underground irrigation pipeline system completely controlled through SCADA, a first for Balangir. Bulangiro, Jal Kosto, Duro Ella. Bringing water to 70,000 plus families across 100,000 acres. These major irrigation projects are designed for at least 100 years. I am sure that the way technologically it has been made robust, this will be there for centuries ahead. An intense battle against political, social obstacles against a worldwide pandemic. Two decades of struggle overcome in just three years through sheer willpower, grit and determination. A dream come true for Balangir, for Orissa, for India. This is the making of the superstructure, the Lower Sukhtail Dam, Orissa. Balangir, Orissa. Summer after scorching summer, the land cracks open. More than 80% of Balangir's 2 million people depend on their farms. And up to 95% of the farms depend on an increasingly unpredictable monsoon. Actually, this Bolangir district, it is part of what is called the KBK districts, which was Kalahandi, Bolangir, Koraput, which were considered earlier the most underdeveloped areas. This is also a very water scarce area, a very semi-arid kind of an area. Therefore, it was very important for us to have a large water body there. The answer, the Lower Sukhtail Dam project. One of Balangir's major irrigation projects. The 1,410-meter-long dam with a 255-meter-long spillway will sit on the river Sukhtail to get water to more than 70,000 families that call the targeted 100,000 acres of land home. Our Honorable Chief Minister always considers four and a half crore people of Odisha as his family. So whenever we are in a dilemma, as to which way we have to take a decision. He is very clear that decision has to help the people. 1999, the plan to execute this solution comes together. But before it can hit the ground running, Balangir brings it to a halt. The beginning of a decades long battle. <laughs> Wave after wave of protests, some even violent, bring all of Balangir to a standstill. Years pass, 2001. Amidst growing resistance, a foundation stone is laid. There are uh, 29 villages being affected in the project. 15 villages are uh, fully submerged village and 14 villages are uh, partly submerged village. In the fully submerged village, uh, people have to be relocated uh, from the reservoir area. That is where the rehabilitation is required. 2005, work on the dam begins and stops in about 45 days, resistance grows. 2006, excavation begins and stops in just about 10 days. 2013, the project gets fresh energy. Consensus building efforts are renewed. 2018, fresh protests. Already we have lost two decades, so there was a pressure to complete in time, three years or so. For the last 
three years before we started the work, it had been completely stopped. So our machines were there, people were there, but nobody was allowed to do the work. So the biggest challenge was to reach out to the people, convince them that this is a dam that is being made for them, they stand to benefit, and then to start execution and convince them that we mean business. So that was the biggest challenge. Two decades pass. The deadlock must be broken. 2021, a new approach is needed. The 5T approach, pioneered by the Honorable Chief Minister of Orissa, Orissa's mantra for success. This project was taken up under the 5T initiative of our Honorable Chief Minister. How 5T is uh, applicable in this project? It's a transformational project from a state of uh, complete dependence on monsoons. You are transforming the area to an assured irrigation. That is the transformation target here. Brainstorming and consultations at the highest levels of administration help chart out quick solutions. A timeline of three years is set. Another T is for transparency. The entire package was completely made transparent. All the processes followed for executing the project was done in a very transparent manner. Keeping transparency front and center, the team goes door to door, tackling doubts face to face, cutting out disinformation and middlemen, an all-out effort by the administration. Dam होने से हमको लगता है कि पानी ठीक टाइम में खेत में पहुंच सकता है और ठीक टाइम में पानी अगर आएगा तो खेती अच्छा होगा मतलब एक बार खेती जो हो रहा है वो दो तीन बार हो सकता है पानी ठीक टाइम में आएगा तो Many more crops through the year. Cash crops that can bring bigger and better savings. Pani aane wala hai to pehle dhan hoga. Dhan ke baad ye sarso, chana, aise type ke wo hoga. Uske baad sar vegetable hoga. That was the strategy of negotiation. It was you talk to them directly, you go to them. Entire benefits and everything that will be given to them has to be understood uh, by them. and it has to be given to them right at their village right in their hamlets only a plan to help farmers smooth over the transition is set into motion the orissa government's compensation and rehabilitation efforts are based on a singular goal to leave no one behind surveys map each family's unique needs Detailed profiles help put numbers on the table. इतने गरीबी देखे हैं हम लोग क्या है कि हम छः भाई और दो बहन थे आठ जन माँ बाप मिला के दस जन हो जाते थे और कमाने वाला एक ही था बाप वो इतना गरीबी देखे हैं हम लोग तो पलट के देखेंगे तो यह बहुत मुश्किल है साहब From meager incomes to generous compensation that boosts his snack making business to the next level. घर का पाँच लाख मिला है हमारा आरआर पेमेंट का पाँचों भाई का हमारा पैसा जो नौ लाख छत्तीस हज़ार मिलता था तो अब टोटल हम पाँचों पाँचों भाई का टोटल पैसे इकट्ठा करके वो इसी पैसे से हम लोग यहाँ ज़मीन खरीद लिए उसी पैसे से हम लोग यहाँ इतना बड़ा फैक्ट्री बसा दिए और उसी पैसे से हम लोग घर भी बना लिए माता गाँव में मैं एक, एक किलो भी धान नहीं उगा पाता था क्योंकि वहाँ ज़मीन नहीं था यहाँ पे मैंने सौ पैकेट धान भी उगाला है और सब्जी वब्जी पूरा मैं बलांगीर भेजता हूँ वहाँ पे आग व्यापारी आके ले जाते हैं छोटा मोटा बिजनेस हो जाए यहाँ पूरा अच्छा होता है तमाम गांव के से यहीं पे बहुत अच्छा है अर्जुन स्टोरी इज वन ऑफ मेनी मेनी ऑफ बालंगीर पीपल आर वॉकिंग टू वर्ड्स अ ब्रांड न्यू फ्यूचर डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एज अ होल Generally, what happens? Revenue department works in isolation. Water resources works in isolation. Police will work in isolation. Here, our chief minister has made it a habit. Whenever a larger goal is there, it, it is a whole government approach. The entire team works as one. The district administration, various departments, people's representatives, political leaders, all of them were brought on board, and they all worked as a team. the administration leaves no stone unturned 
nothing must delay Balangir's dream a minute more. This is the making of the superstructure, the Lower Sukhtail Dam, Odisha. This is the making of the superstructure, the Lower Sukhtail Dam, Odisha. A pioneering irrigation project is in the works to solve Balangir's water woes. But fierce resistance from those worried about displacement bring the dam to a grinding halt. The emphasis is on increasing the water use efficiency and there will be a huge community involvement through Pani Panchayats. So the people, the stakeholders, the farmers, they will own up the project. So when they own up the project, there will be sustainability. And government under our Honorable Chief Minister always strives hard to involve the community. Village and town meetings help build consensus. Rehabilitation colonies are set up. Slowly and surely, Balangir's people begin moving. The administration builds transit camps for the displaced. So an ex gratia amount was incorporated, which was generously given to the people and they, they were happy with it. In addition to that, our Chief Minister had directed that the rehabilitation colony should be the best in terms of road facilities, electricity facilities, school facilities, health facilities. Overall, we should create it like a model colony. I think everybody in their heart of hearts really wanted water body to come up. They realized that a water scarce district like Bolangir needs water. It will eventually need this water. So our approach to the rehabilitation was not just that it has to be done, but it was a very humane approach, a very flexible approach, and an approach that we are here for you and we care. For Divya, giving up her home also meant giving up her job her family's sustenance. It was a hard call moving to the rehabilitation colony six months ago. Now, every day at 9 a.m., Divya arrives at the Anganbadi Center in the rehabilitation colony. मते तो इन आंगनबाड़ी रो काम मिले गला मोर हस्बैंड भी जन से लोर सुखतेल डैम होचे से भी सेना काम पाई छन आमे दुई जन काम करू छु शी स्पेंड्स हर डे विद द नेबरहुड प्री स्कूलर्स एंड हर चाइल्ड इज हैप्पीली एनरोल्ड एट द लोकल इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल अमेनिटीज एट द रिहैबिलिटेशन कॉलोनी हैव ट्रांसफॉर्मड दिव्याज फैमिलीज डे टू डे लाइफ Each obstacle is slowly overcome. As new ones crop up, costs are shooting up. The administration pumps in more funds. Nothing must delay Balangir's dream a minute more. It takes 204 million US dollars to compensate more than 11,000 families who need new homes. Add to that another 24 million US dollars to build rehabilitation colonies. The project cost multiplies by 25 times to hit 632 million US dollars. To stick to the deadline is now crucial. The administration has to make sure that more than 11,000 families are rehabilitated within two years. The construction teams got the same deadline. 
While the deadly second wave of the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic travels around the country. So getting workers to be there and then to ensure if they are coming, then the necessary precautions are being taken. That was our challenge number one. Challenge two was that this was a project that had been going in fits and starts, fits and starts. And each time there were problems. So to keep on going, that itself was a big target. And huge uh, amounts of earth, huge amounts of boulders, everything was required, which had to be brought in. The team rapidly troubleshoots, putting precautions in place. The project is revamped. It's going to be a pressurized underground irrigation pipeline system, controlled through the high-tech supervisory control and data acquisition system, another first for Balan Gir. Then the next T is technology. The latest technology were used both in the construction of the uh, dam as well as now the distribution network. We'll have SCADA, we'll have underground pipelines, UGPL pipelines, solar will be used. So this will be one of the advanced irrigation projects done anywhere in the country. पहले जो ट्रेडिशनल हमारा था वो ओपन कैनाल सिस्टम था इसमें मैक्सिमम पानी हमारा लॉस होता था आपका परकुलेशन के हिसाब से लॉस हो जाता था एवापोरेशन हो जाता था रास्ता भी चोरी भी होता था पानी ये जो कटिंग एड टेक्नोलॉजी अभी जो यूज कर रहे हैं हम फार्मर कैन गो फॉर दिस न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ माइक्रो इरीगेशन टेक्नोलॉजी लाइक स्प्रिंकलर ड्रिप विद दैट ही कैन ग्रो मोर कैश क्रॉप इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस ट्रेडिशनल पेडी क्रॉप बट फर्स्ट the construction teams got to move 3 million cubic meters of earth. That's around nine times the volume of concrete used to build the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. Working 300 meters at a stretch to give the people a little time. Mammoth machines from across India struggle to fit into the dam's constraints. A whopping 70 or so tippers, around 12 rollers, 8 to 10 bulldozers and graders, all squeezed into an area that's less than about two and a half times a football field. There's no margin for error, no room for a single accident. And they're working 24 by 7, because the monsoon is never far away on India's eastern coast. Monsoon, you know, uh, actually comes in the month of July, mid-June, uh, uh, monsoon starts. General time we take in our uh, state, three years uh, for any dam project. And uh, that was the reason why we have to adopt all the techniques at site, heavy machinery movement, excess machinery movements, uh, so that uh, in small uh, areas, large machinery can work and complete the work in time. The team is on a strict timer they must keep their promise to the people. Balangir cannot afford another delay. The 5T team hits the ground. Regular inspections amidst COVID-19, amidst rain and storm. The team is encouraged to work even harder and work smarter too. Traditional girders are made of concrete. Concrete that can take up to six months to set. The team builds steel girders instead. A decision that shaves four months off the timeline. We had to do the work of 15 lakh cubic meters of earth work. We had to do it in four times, four months, three months. So obviously we have to go for the night shift also. Total 24 hours we divided and with three shifts. All the engineers, including our agencies, Raat ko koi swa nahi itna din. O sleepless night sab ka tha. After two decades of struggle, after almost giving up, in just a record three years, interdepartmental coordination and regular reviews at the highest levels get the job done. And Balangir has built big plans for a better tomorrow already. 
लोहा सब तेल जल से चन प्रकल्प उद्घाटन करी मु बहुत खुशी बोलांगी रो जल कष्ट दूर होला जय जगन्नाथ This is the making of the superstructure, the Lower Sukhtail Dam, Odisha. This is the making of the superstructure, the Lower Sukhtail Dam, Odisha. The ambitious Lower Sukhtail Dam project is ready. The River Sukhtail. a sukha or dry river for so long will now be able to give balangir's people water throughout the year a triumphant model of infra led development made possible because of orissa's trail blazing 5t's in 5t the transformation has to happen that's the target so here the transformation is happening people's lives will be impacted like never before 1 lakh families will get benefited and uh, an area which was earlier dependent on monsoons and rainfall will have assured irrigation and we are almost going to do a micro irrigation up to field level this is will be one of the most advanced irrigation systems in the country as balangir joyfully inaugurates this dream balangir's farmers begin planning a new tomorrow जहाँ दे चन जहाँ कर लगे नवीन बाबू आ पांडियान सार से लगे आम बहुत खुशी अच्छे आर आके भी खुशी रहमु आर आके भी आम बहुत चाष बाड़ी कर पार्मु तो एवं जेहेतु पानी है गला आम दु थर चाष करमु आर जोर से चाष करमु सब पनीपरिया आम बहुत हाथ के आसवा बहुत पैसा हमारे हाथ है आम जाना चाहे ताणा कर पार्मु आम तो भावी नहीं थी आम जीवन एत पर बहुत खुशी लगुच सुखा नदी में पा दे आम चाषी भाई मान को जीवन दिले, चाषी परिवार के जीवन दिले, बलांगीर जिला के जीवन दिले। The possibilities for Balangir's farmers are now endless. The superstructure has put an end to many struggles in one go. So this dam project will have a very major objective of giving livelihood to people even in non-monsoon time. so they will then have water for kharif and rabi which means they will have two crops and that itself could change their lives so the need for anybody to look for a job elsewhere or for migrating will automatically cease these major irrigation projects are designed for at least 100 years i am sure that the way technologically it has been made robust This will be there for centuries ahead. It's a dream come true for people of Bolangir and the honorable chief minister. He always wanted this project to succeed and help the people of Bolangir. This isn't just an ordinary infrastructure project. This is the journey to build a model of great growth, of development that leaves no one behind. For Bolangir, for Odisha, for India. the journey to build the superstructure the lower sukhtail dam <laughs>